What's up? Uh, not much, dude. I mean, you know, I'm back home enjoying the beautiful scenery of Baltimore City. You know, it's yeah, lovely. Was, it's lovely was, this time of year. I was looking at that scenery uh, of that door behind you that looks like you were in, like, I don't know, like a, I don't, either a trap house or like, you know, an abandoned building. <laughs> well, I mean, the, my mom's house is like super old. It was built in like the 40s or like the 30s. And you can just tell from every piece of the building that it's just old as fuck. Like every <laughs> door frame is like, it's like leaning like this. The doors, all the knobs had to be like replaced because they had those like weird glass Victorian knobs and Ooh, shit. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I got, I got like, I got a good foundation guy if you need it. Uh, no, like this is like my mom's like whatever the parsonage for her church, so it's like, I, it, oh, it's shoot. not her. It's a tax write off. Yeah, exactly. It's not like her real fucking crib. So I'm just kind of like, does she have like her own crib on top of that? No, nah, but we were actually talking about that the other day. Wait, 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 wait. Should we should do like the intro before we start? We just get into Go talking ahead. and everything. Go ahead. I was waiting for you. <laughs> All right. Go ahead. Work podcast. Me and Luke, we're we're unfortunately disconnected right now. We're, but we're doing though. it. Can, tap in. But you know, nasty work podcast episode four. Nate Russell, Luke Frazier. Wait, hey. it's episode five. This is I don't episode. Oh, dude. I've never... This is episode five. This is okay, episode actually. five. Why not? This is definitely episode five. Whatever. But yeah, episode five. You guys know um, the fucking deal. It's gotta kind of um, be a bummer though to like like be at the mercy of the church for your living situation, right? Oh, I'm sure she's not stoked on it, but I mean, she could just get her own place. She just has decided not to because it happens to be right next to my mom's church. Um, I mean that makes sense. Is it like attached or is it just like next to it? It's just next to it. Okay. And it's in this neighborhood that used to be really bad, but now it's kind of like it's kind of getting like built out and stuff and whatnot. Like, like the, I saw like the wire bed? No, 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 not like the wire bed. Um think think like Detroit suburb bad. Like bigger house, much bigger houses that were like abandoned, and then like, but now people are moving back. Like I saw, I saw a white person walking their dog yesterday, is which that, is, is that kind of unheard of. What kind of white person? Um, he looked like that. Yeah, that also, that also totally like tells me about the trajectory of the neighborhood. Is what sort of white person are you? T are we talking here? I'm saying I'm talking Tevas, dude. Patagonia short shorts. But like, like. Tiba's ironically or Tiba's like, you know. We're not we're not that the 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 neighborhood is not that gentrified. There's not an ironic person. It looked like someone that was just kind of like see, I think if you house. no, I think I think that the ironic Tiba is the first type of gentrification. I think if you have a non-ironic <laughs> Tiba, that is much farther into gentrification than you think. That's like a true, like normal white person. Fair enough. But you know, I like, mean, I'm you get what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, regardless, it's like the gentrification this neighborhood like needs the gentrification because it's just it's ginormous houses and they're all they were all like abandoned 10 years ago when my mom moved over here uh -huh. but now like people are just like moving in and there's like so many beautiful cribs over here now i'm just like it, the neighborhood's like completely cost? different probably like 300k that's pretty 400k for baltimore I mean, Baltimore's kind of getting expensive. The nice parts are like this is because people like you are gentrifying it. What do you mean, people like me? I moved away to gentrify a different city. <laughs> That's fair, yeah. <laughs> God forbid like, you moved to fucking Bedsty. Yeah, dude. Like this neighborhood is so. You can tell that it used to be like the foundation of the city, and the people really used to live over here and have like good jobs and they raise their families. And then the crack epidemic came and it just everyone just like split. I will I will say, and I'm just gonna put this on the record that there are few things that I relish more than telling non-white people that they're gentrifiers. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's brutal. That's a brutal thing. Nobody wants <laughs> to hear that uh, they're a gentrifier. I, I mean, I know I. You know, that's the thing I think about a lot of white people is we know we're gentrifiers. So, you know, 
But the neighborhoods, they need they need little coffee spots. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They need coffee spots. You need you need you need a punk record store every five blocks. You need that. You need Do that you for think the culture. Baltimore has the infrastructure to support more than one punk record store. I'm trying to think of where one is even. Uh, Without a doubt, the rent is so cheap. If you as if you're doing online business, like you could do anything here. I mean, there, I guess there's there like a bunch a, of weird like zine stores in Richmond and shit. And Richmond only has like a hundred thousand people. Exactly. So I mean, people do. I mean, they have businesses here, and you know, it is a real city. But I will not lie to you. Riding back, like through like the west side of Baltimore, like when you were coming in from New York. Um, yeah. Why don't you tell the audience how you got to Baltimore from New York? Unfortunately, guys, um, <laughs> I had to take the bus. I had to take the bus. That is so. I was I was appalled when you told me that. Well, the time, like the timing, I couldn't find a good train. It was either I'd have to Did go back home. I'm gonna get to that. All right? all right, I'm gonna get to the flights. I didn't look at flights until I was on the bus, and I was just thinking. Like, okay, a train either way, like that Acela, Amtrak Acela up up north or down south would be, it would have been like 250 one way. And I was like, bro, there ain't no fucking way. And it was also super late at night. Like I couldn't, I couldn't like get a normally timed fucking train. And then, uh, yeah, the bus was like the only thing that was available. I'm thinking like, all right, I've told myself a million times I'm never going to take the bus again, but a 630 bus out of Manhattan, like right from my office in Midtown is like, how can I, how can I beat that, that like time, that New York minute timing? So I get there and nobody's there. I'm like, bet this bus is going to be empty. As the last 10 minutes, right before the bus came, the line is so fucking long, dude, like wrapped around whatever, like the entire area. And I was like, bro, oh my God. And then of course I get on the bus, I sit down praying that I get to sit alone. No, a dude with a fucking cat and a bubble sits next to me. What do you mean? Oh, like explain? Please. He had one of those. I've heard this. He, oh, he had the, one of those the, the cat, the cat packs. The cat the packs. Ca cat pack. Like, what are you doing, bro? What are you thinking? <laughs> like, you're transporting an animal on a bus. What like, do you it expect was... for how old was this man? He looked to be late 20s, early 30s. What do you expect from a 30-year-old male cat owner? You're right. Not much. I don't That's, expect that much. Is, that is a deeply unsavory <laughs> pursuit to begin with. Much For like taking sure. the bus over the age of 25. Yeah, man. I was, I, I was, how much for flights? It's 250 both ways. Like each way? I could have gotten a Delta for... I Actually, no, it was, it was 350 A, a round trip? Round trip. Sure. I didn't realize that until until I fucking looked. And so you were so miserable on the bus that you were like looking at alternative. Because ways. the first, I mean, my first thought is never to take a flight to Baltimore because it takes me 30 to 40 minutes to get to JFK or LaGuardia. And then by the time I'm through the line and like all that shit. But then I was sitting there and I was like, bro, I have, I have clear. I have, I have um global entry. Yeah, I would have been yeah. through that shit in 15 minutes. Yeah. No fucking problem. Yeah. yeah. And like, I would have been on the tarmac for like, whatever. The flight would have been like an hour. Like, I'm not. The flight would have been not... 30 minutes. It's an hour. It's an hour. That's it's what it's an it hour says. in Charlottesville. There's no way. It's an hour like, no. It's an hour of like from doors closed to doors open. Mm, mm, yeah. Next time. Yeah. I can't. Yeah. Listen, I don't want to yeah. alienate any of our audience. Grown ass man taking the China bus is fucking crazy. I'm so. I sorry. mean, it wasn't a China. It was a Greyhound. China bus would have been nuts. Oh, if I took the truck. you took the gray. How much was that? It was like thirty bucks, forty bucks. Why didn't you? They have that bus that, like, <laughs> like have you seen that bus that's like goes to DC and like there's like captain's chairs and you can like sleep on it and shit. Like, there's like a no. nice bus. There's like a crazy nice bus. It's just like Baltimore. Every single time I've taken the Chinatown bus, it's always it's it's more depressing than a Greyhound, which is a that's a feat. So did you have that to go to the feat. Port Authority? Yeah. Oh my God. How, how's, that, dude, how's that these days? Dude, my experience it offended every single one of my senses, bro. Like, <laughs> so what was sight, sticky? Sound. Something was sticky. It smelled bad. It was loud. Everyone was ugly. Uh, and then 
what was what's the fifth sense? I don't know. Uh, my my sense well, of oh, self. what did you taste? What did you taste? The air. I got cat hair in my mouth. <laughs> what kind of cat, kind of cat was it? I didn't. I I didn't. I didn't. But I don't fucking know. I didn't. I didn't see Captain in this bubble. Thank God, dude. I mean, a free roaming cat on the bus? Are you kidding? <laughs> That's kind of like, sick. No, I mean, man. if you're on the bus, you might as well let the animals just fucking go around, you know? I guess so. Someone brought a dog on there too, bro. We got fucking Noah's Ark on that bitch. Like, <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't get it. I just like, I, I don't get it. Like, I got down there and I saw a dude walking up because uh, the the entrance to like the southern bound buses. They're like on like the lower level of like the port authority. And I'm like walking down the middle level, down to the lower level, and I see this white dude walking up with his little roller uh whatever bag. And he is freaking out. It was already a bad sign. I was like, oh shit. He's like fuck. Fuck. he's like throwing his shit around. I was like, bro was having like a real temper tantrum on the stairs. Everyone's like looking around and I'm like, hmm, bad sign. That's a really bad sign. That's that's weird. Definitely and then, a good sign, I'll tell you that. Yeah, it wasn't it wasn't chill. And then I get down there and people were just like eating food that they brought from home. It smelled horrible. You know what I mean? Multiple different families, different is different. There like, is there like a Nathan's in, in that port authority? Like what's the food sitch? I'm trying to think. Dude, it's not Moynihan. Like, there's not like a little bar that you can sit at. Yeah, and like, shit. is there a Chi Chi's? No, dude. No, no. It was just nothing but sadness and despair in a bus station. It's just people, people trying their best. You know what I mean? Um, Greyhound, there was a bus Greyhound station in my hometown, and Greyhound sold the bus station. So now the Greyhound just like shows up on a curb somewhere, which is also so sad. There's nothing like getting off the bus and then you're just in the middle of a parking lot. Yeah, that's crazy. I remember one time I took the China bus back from New York to Richmond. And I think we left at 1130 and it was, you know, supposed to, you're supposed to get back at like five, right? It's a six hour drive, right? Yeah. I woke up at like 245 and we were in Richmond. Ha Wait. Yeah. And I was how? like, how fast was this person going? We're, and you took a Chinatown bus? Yeah, he was see, it. See, that's why, bro. They're not fucking, that shit is not, a, there's no safety code or anything. No, the dude's on like the bus. Buck, he must have been six. going like a, a buck 20 the entire time. That's insane. And I mean, dying a on a Chinatown bus? Come on, bro. Kind of get what you pay for. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess it's, it is like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. They probably like it's like it's like a gram of blow. It kind of like has kept pace with inflation. It's been the same price for thirty years. Yeah, you know, yeah. like it's it's actually much cheaper now than it used to be. Oh man, what a fucking you know, a gram sad of blow has always been eighty bucks for a good gram of blow. So I've heard. I don't know personally, and um, you know, it's been eighty bucks since the nineties. Apparently, you know, and same with the China bus. The China bus was twenty bucks fifteen years ago. It's still twenty bucks. I mean, I wouldn't even know because I had never, I haven't even like, I'm not going that low. If it's like, I mean, if I need to take the fuck a fuck you say, whatever you say, boss. Dude, I did it out of a, out of a need for a time. And no, you did it out of a fucking lack of planning. Yes, that is true. That you is knew, true. It was, you knew this trip was coming. Well, no, it was a lot. It was like a last minute thing. And I was like trying to get it approved and like it. No. It came up like two weeks before. So, I mean, whatever. Obviously, I didn't plan it that well because my mom's not fucking here. My other best friend, Jamie's not in town. My sister's working all weekend. I saw like everybody for like 15 minutes. What's I got to do? Just go get hammered? No, nah, I haven't even been doing that. I, mean, I, went out and got, I went to the bar and had like a drink like last night. And like, it was just, there was like a stupid hardcore show at the fucking bar. And I was like, this sucks. And it was raining. My time here has been kind of miserable, honestly. I mean, it is Baltimore. It is. It is. But one of my favorite reasons about coming down here is that it makes me come back to New York and it makes me appreciate it so, so, so much. So much. Uh, that makes sense. 
you know i get i get down here and i'm like it looks bombed out and depleted like syria or something and it really dude it looks so bad it you know everyone's always like is it like the wire <laughs> the yeah, neighborhood's getting gentrified there's all these isis flags on the outside of these houses <laughs> uh man property values through the roof but yeah. it's just it's it's crazy. It's it's a it's just a very very different place. That's it's why they call different. it the charm the charm city. You know Is what that I mean? The nickname for this shit. I thought it was Bodymore. No, that's like something that like. No, no one calls it that. Actually, it's it's oh. Charm City. It's like Charm City. It's supposed that to. It has like seem a charm. Especially charming. Um, a charming in the way that like, like, like your your uncle who steals from the rest of the family. Yeah, like a like a junkie that you grew up with on the block, like a charming like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like not the, charming. Like the crackhead, like the junkie friend who can like fix everything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's yeah. Baltimore is endearing. You know what I mean? It's not. It is. It is like an endearing place, and it's a very blue collar city. It's just I don't know. I don't. You I the aquarium, bro. Nah, I should though. I don't know. I don't yeah. really like. I don't really like the dolphin captivity thing. That's actually something I'm not really. I'm not really dolphin into what? that. What? Yeah, I don't. I don't really. I don't really like the Sea World thing. You know, like it's just a weird. It's weird to me. That's fair. It's a, it's depressing. Like you see them in like the, the tanks and shit. I used to remember thinking that at, when I went to the aquarium as a kid, like there were like so many rounds of them. I was like, yeah, that tank's like, that's just not that big, bro. <laughs> it's not that big. I mean, when you're a criminal, you got to go to jail. What are you trying to say about dolphins? You, you you know what the deal is with dolphins, right? I mean, I've I've heard some things. They'd be raping people. Yeah, I've heard I've heard they got some allegations against them. They they are not beating the the SA allegations, from what I understand. Mm 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 mm. Oh, they stink too, dude. <laughs> they stink. How do they stink? How do you know they stink? Because I've been to the aquarium and there's a the show. The aquarium stinks, but the dolphins probably don't stink. Nah, dolphins stink. Dolphins stink. They smell, bro. They smell. I, they my, smell like... my dad's best friend used to work at the aquarium. And he got Doing us like... What? Re Doing what? I don't know, dude. I was like seven and he died years ago. I have no idea did what he, he did. he killed by a dolphin? No, he didn't get killed by a dolphin. I think he had a heart attack. Because he was scared of the dolphins. <laughs> because he was afraid of the He's dolphins. He's living a high stress life and the dolphin, the dolphins called him probably his cortisol. Probably because he just got like dolphin miasma, just like, but from being in their presence too much and it just soaked through his body. The, they have the a, thing they is, have they have odor. to keep, they have to keep the dolphins in captivity because their vibes are so bad it could poison the entire ocean. The what about, man? <laughs> Like all of them, <laughs> yeah. Fuck the pools, bro. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. But I will say I've been close to a dolphin, not up on one, but I've been close enough. And they like when they come over the little thing, like we were sat like close to like the yeah. splash wall, and like as soon as they came out the ocean, bro, was, that shit was stank. You're, you're in the splash zone, like a Gallagher show. We were at the splash zone, and I. This is like I'm thinking back on it, just like as a kid, I remember distinctly being like, I don't want it. I didn't want to be in the splash zone because I was like, bro, they poop in that water. <laughs> the, 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 tank is not, the tank's not that big and they poop in the water, bro. Yeah, I don't know. That kind of reminds me of I think I've told you this story. Like, you know, no one in my family ever smoked, but mm -hmm. as a child, I distinctly remember being bummed that we couldn't sit in the smoking section at like restaurants. Because, you know, like, as a dumbass kid, you, like, just kind of, like, want what you can't have. And I'm like, why can't we sit in the smoking section? And, like, you look over, like, and it's just, like, smoky and everyone in there is, like, obese, you know? Like, those little... I remember looking, I remember the smoking section in the Golden Corral in my hometown. It was a fucking bloodbath. Ah. Oh. oh, I thought Baltimore was depressing. It is. It is, but the smoking section at Golden Corral... I guarantee you there's probably still a Golden Corral in, in Baltimore somewhere. Mm. When's the last time you had Boston to... Market? Are we dude actually no, I don't want to talk about fast food again on the air because this is like all we fucking talk about. 
Especially a fucking shithole like Boston Market. Boston Market's gas. I'm not going to get into it with you. All right, all right, all right, all right, whatever. But the smoking sections, like, just to speak on that briefly, there is something so diabolical about eating IHOP pancakes at 9 o'clock in the morning and smoking a fucking cigarette while you do it. I don't like the American dream, dude. It is it is the freest freedom, but do we do we need that? Do we, we need could... that level of freedom? Yeah, I wish we could still smoke on airplanes. That makes a lot of sense to me. To calm it, the nerves, it just, bro. It's scary. It feels luxurious. It does feel luxurious. Imagine, Imagine sitting in like row 33F, you know, and like the guy next to you was just chiefing down like cigarettes the entire time. That would be insane. That's all I would fucking do. I would be smoking OD. I would be getting, also, I'd be getting blackout drunk, not just travel drunk but i would be getting blackout drunk i think back then they would serve you a martini on the flight if you asked them to dude that's so gas and that makes perfect sense like you're on a fucking flying can in the sky like it defies all reason and logic really and then at any moment the shit could just explode we've seen it happen you know what i'm saying Yeah, the shit could just fall right out of the sky. And the last thing that I want on my lips is a Negroni. Oh, like not like the last thing you want, like like the figure of speech. Like that's literally the last thing that you would want on your lips. That is that is like the if the plane was falling out of the sky and I was about to crash, the last thing that I want, I'm not I'm not calling anybody. I'm gonna have a fucking drink. Yeah. I'm gonna have a drink. Huh? Mezcal or gin. I'm going mezcal. I think so too, man. Okay. Right? Yeah. yeah, like they don't make mixed drinks on a flight. Like, bro, I'm just really. I think, either, I think they would. I don't still think they have Campari. I mean, they definitely don't have that. They don't have like little additives and shit. Um. Yeah, they don't have bitters and shit, right? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Your oh, phone case is so geeked up. <laughs> 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 That's just so hard. It was that or like uh they didn't have a 3D Goku that had like a 2D Goku, which I wasn't really fucking with. A 3D as I mean like it's kind of like embossed this is 3D, a little bit. Yeah, this is like this comes out. Where did you get that? I was the same place to get all my phone cases. The Where African Canal guy on, on 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 outside of the Apple store, yeah. <laughs> I know I know the exact guy that you're talking about. Yeah, it's my he's guy. Got all, he's got all the bootleg fucking sound phone cases and they shit. Don't, they don't make minion airpod cases anymore i used to get those i used to have i'm those. sure i'm sure you could get one off of tim you dude yeah i don't want to wait <laughs> i don't want to wait three weeks dude that shit would be at your house like within the hour what are you saying <laughs> dude they have fit. every tim you the world store dude they have fucking everything on there and it's like they, they don't fulfill from the u.s do they um i i don't i don't know I don't know. I'd have to ask. I'd have to ask my my plug at Tim. You, you know, I'm like I'm like locked in there. All right. Yeah, I I know you are. <laughs> my Tim, you ads like they're getting so good now. Like I don't even know that they're ads halfway through. I'm like, what the? You can buy that? And I'm like, it's Tim. You, of course, you can. <laughs> what fucking kind get of there. shit makes you think that? Um, think of any household item. It, you could build a fucking Tim. You house. Like real talk. You could buy. Yeah, you could buy the fucking doors. I mean, it would it would probably fall. It would probably disintegrate in the rain. But I mean, yeah. it would be cheap. It would be cheap. Yeah, it would be cheap. You can get fucking ranges. You can get fucking and all the workout equipment. You can buy a fucking whole gym off of there. Like, yeah. I, you're like you're like, damn these these barbells are nice. If they're so dense. Oh, they're made of lead. They're made. <laughs> exactly. You know how they have like the titanium ones at the nice gyms that are like smaller than normal barbells. It's uh-huh. like that. They're just solid lead. <laughs> you drop it, it like gets flat on one side. <laughs> Dude, I mean, I'm trying to think of some of like the other crazy shit that I've seen. I I showed you how I was getting all of like the tactical like uh that horror. Uh-huh. like tact like tactical gear Tim you was like banging my shit crazy. Like not not the not the Proud Boys Tim you fucking auger though. It really, it really was like on some like some vests, like you get plates. You could fucking, you could outfit a militia on um, Tim. You, yeah. Well, we're gonna have to. 
Why do you say that? Actually, I don't want to get into that. I'm not I don't gonna wanna... get into it either. Yeah, I don't want to get into the anything. Uh, yeah, I prefer not to. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. How's your weekend been going, by the way? It's fine, I guess. Chilling. What do you you been doing? Anything fun? Or you just been like at the store? I'm not doing anything fun. <laughs> kind of just work, maintain, eat, you... overeat. You know, eat like shit, get fatter every single day. March towards my fucking early demise. You know, just regular shit. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that is kind of. It's kind of the vibe I've been on since I stopped like going out and drinking as much. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's really pick your poison, kind of. Yeah, I, I probably should just stop. I w- if I could stop eating, I would just drink way more, but, you know. Here's the thing, dude, is that you really need to get into your into your uh, your it's spiritual boy, arc. Right? No, no, your spiritual no, arc. My mom because has been saying that since I was that's 17, coming, the, bro. Yeah, because it's coming for you. Because it's coming for you. No, because you're, not, anti- dude. you're completely anti-spiritual. You're anti-spiritual, and everybody at some point is like, I was like, damn, bro. Something's a little off. I got a hole in my heart. I got a hole is, in my heart. Yeah, I do have a hole in my heart. I don't have a 911 right now or a Rari <laughs> or a home in Virginia. You know, like, yes. Maybe once I get all those things, I can do that. But I got I got shit to worry about right now. Is there like a precipice of success where you feel that you would be comfortable going out and getting drunk again? Or like, are you just done drinking because you just don't like it? Um... No, yeah, I think it's more just like I, I kind of feel like shit when I do it, you know, like, and I end up eating like Papa John's at two in the morning. Mm. Mm. You know, it's like that type of vibe. I've actually been looking into some of the uh, newer pills that you can take to, you know, mitigate all of like your hangover. So you don't, your body doesn't go through like all of like the crazy, uh, I guess, like withdrawals and shit of like just drinking all night. Well, you probably need shit to stop your withdrawals, right? I mean, no. I don't okay, be drinking I'll nearly fall. as hard as you did when you were out partying. That is not true, dude. <laughs> I, I wasn't com- even drinking like that. Because you, you're saying that you'd eat, you'd be eating Popeyes at 2 a.m. I would like, I would never do that. I just drink a couple glasses of water and I go to sleep. I also don't, I don't really ever get that drunk. If that makes like any sense. Like I get fucked up, but like I don't. I as soon as I kind of like start to feel like I'm off, then I I usually will like leave the bar just because like, I just here's the thing I can tell when you're drunk because you stop using like punctuation when you talk. It's just one stream of consciousness. Yeah, it's one run on sentence. But that's like as far as it goes. Like I don't get like I don't I don't get like stumbling over. I mean I've never I don't think I really have been that drunk ever. Again. Maybe. Like somebody over, like I've never. I here's here's like my my like thought process as far as like really getting like fucked up is like mm-hmm. I've never I've never I've never lost my keys. I've never lost my wallet. I've never lost my phone. Getting drunk, dude. It's like insane I've, when people like get so hammered that they like fuck their lives up. It's like what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, but that's kind of to me like where you really need to start like evaluating like your shit. Like, you're losing the things that you need just to get by in your life. Yeah, dude. It's like, yeah. Yeah, like, your wallet, as a grown man, losing your wallet is, like, it's, it's that's the, the most, it's childish, bro. Yeah, it's the Talib Kweli test. What is? <laughs> the the what things is, that you need just to get by. <laughs> my God, dude. Oh, shit. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. I We had a homie who will not be named, that has lost so Ooh, many you can fucking it out. friends. Who? Uh, who the fuck is that? The dude that fucking... Uh, am I thinking of... Am I, uh, He's not really a friend I, if you don't know his name. Am I, am I misremembering this motherfucker's about- name? No. Anyway. But yeah, a dude if like... Help- I, what? Call 1-800, wherever that fucking shit is. I don't know. 1-800. Like if you what? need help with alcohol and shit, you know, like, you know, put, Nate will put the shit up in there so you can call the number if you're an alcoholic or whatever. Nobody's judging you for being a fucking mess. I mean, in today's my, day, yeah, my, my today's day and age, like, of, I, I, I don't judge anybody for being fucked up, really. Everybody's fucking sober now. 
Yeah, because it's either you're sober or you're going kind of hard. I'm, I'm like. decidedly not sober. I've This is the first time in my life where I can actually just go out and have a couple of drinks and go home. And it's really nice to be able to like be a normal person. Um, but even then, like I would just stop drinking if I felt like I was going too crazy. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, I do feel like people are just... I think I just think people have a hard time dealing with shit, you know. Like it's like dealing with the world the way it is, you know. Yeah, the world the world the way that it is. Uh, uh, Terminators, uh, simulation, and uh, fucking weird technology, alien type beat. All of the worst movie timelines coalescing in the one moment. Yeah. So like, also yeah, World War Three, and. Your bands are fucked up. Everybody's money's fucked up. Well, speak for yourself. All right, bro. Whatever. Economy's <laughs> fucked up. Yeah, ain't that the fucking truth? Y'all need to spend some more money. Real talk. Spring needs to come out of the store and get get these deals before yeah. the economy recovers. Exactly, bro. Once the once the Luke interest rates go up, you know, it's just over. Damn. I hope when uh, when the draft comes, we get deployed to the same place. Um, we're too old for the draft. We're we're beating it. Doug, not the real draft. Oh. Okay. <laughs> we're not beating the real draft. Dude. We're active. We're in her 30s. Like, Fuck no, dude. they don't want me. As good a shape as I'm in. The thing is, the, the thing about me and you, Nate, is they're going to need strong men to repopulate the planet after World War III, and they need guys like us to do that. Studs? Yeah, they need studs. <laughs> And I'm not talking MCM backpack studs. <laughs> I'm not talking young MA here. I'm talking about us. Yo. Oh my God. Mm-mm. If only. If only. I feel like I was made for that. You know what I mean? I feel like you were too. I'm I'm not. I'm a Christian man. And not not a not, not a fun fundamentalist Latter-day Saints either. I'm a, I'm an Episcopalian. Fair enough. Well, I mean. We're coming up on time. You want to wrap it up? Yeah, I mean, this is, I feel like this was kind of a... I mean, maybe people like this one, because every time I think we're not doing good, people really fuck with it. So thanks for tuning in. Yeah, yeah. Thanks yeah. for tuning in, guys. We love you all so That's much. Good. I'm glad we figured this out, though. This was good. You know, follow us on Instagram. Follow us on uh, on uh, uh, Rumble. Follow us on TikTok. What follow is Rumble? Rumble, Rumble's where all the canceled people. That's where all the canceled people go. Because you know what I mean. I'm I'm building that out already. Just just in case. Really? No. But follow I will. True social. <laughs> follow the true social, bro. Twitter. Uh, Mastodon. Uh, Mastodon. Uh, at OG Luke Moog. At uh, Tokyo Drift Four Twenty. Uh, uh, at Luke's NYC Nasty Work Podcast Episode Five.